Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I'm here with Megan, yes. who's going to walk us through an awesome new capability that we've got in the platform called Low Priority yes. Virtual Machines. And we're doing it in a very, very vibrant environment where people are coming and going very quickly. And so it's very reminiscent of what happens with Low Priority VMs. That is true. How about that? Tell us a little <laughs> bit about what these are and yes. what you're going to show us. So low priority VMs are actually on our scale set offering. So it's basically the scale sets that you know and love, but you can now actually deploy it with this priority flag. I do so love when scale you sets. exactly. Oh, yes. So when you set the priority to low, what actually happens is you get these VMs at an 80% discount up to 80%. So this is a fixed price of your on-demand cost. However, of course, there is a but, and that is that they're actually allocated on any spare access capacity that we have on the Azure platform. Mm -hmm. And so if we ever actually need that capacity back, that's when we'll actually go and evict these low priority VMs. Got it. And so there's no SLA attached to these VMs at any point in time. We can say, oh, we actually need that capacity. We're going to pull the plug on your low Got priority it. VM. Got it. So yeah, and so the so the capacity is things like like we put aside a special amount of space for if a like a rack fails or something, we'll exactly. move people to a new rack. And that's when we'll evict people because exactly. we basically need to take that space back. Exactly. So no service healing for these, got no it. SLA, yep. So you gotta run specific workloads on something like this. Like you wouldn't necessarily run like a SQL server an Oracle DB or anything like this because it's gonna randomly go away sometimes. It's like jobs, maybe something of this exactly. nature. Exactly. Okay, so great. anything that's fault tolerant, anything that's resilient, anything that can actually handle interruptions are really good options for your low priority got if it. you want to save on those costs. Got yep. it. So it's they're sort of like commercial level VMs yep. versus TV shows. <laughs> Is that, is, that, is that a good good commercial? I guess they don't end abruptly, but they're short. Just just let's go to the demo. Awesome. I feel like I I've, uh, I've, I should stop speaking. We need to do these more often. I'm really rusty. This is pretty, pretty bad. Um, so here you can actually see the virtual machine scale sets. We now have a new column in the portal oh, look called at that. priority. Cool. So you can actually see which ones are low and regular. Well, we it's, have a high priority at some, well, I don't, don't reveal anything. So we are looking to see how we can actually enhance the offering right now. It's just the two okay, options, okay, but too, we'll too see. Low and regular, low yes. and regular, okay. We're looking got for it. feedback though. Okay, got it. Um, and so then whenever you actually get to this create bar, here you can actually see there's this new deploy as low priority offer. Cool. Here we can actually click yes, and now we actually how have an eviction policy. So this means that whenever your VMs are actually being evicted, you can either set the eviction oh. policy to stop deallocate, so you maintain your disks, or just delete it. you can just delete it. And so if you don't want to save, if you want to actually redeploy, that's cool when it's that? nice to have the disk. But if you just want to pull the plug, you don't want any additional cost of your disks, just delete. That's so cool. It's really nice. And on the delete offering, it actually works really well with auto scale because you can enable auto scale on this. And so that uh, way, so delete, auto scale will always try to reallocate those VMs on your behalf. So you actually don't have to go and test every single one to try okay. to redeploy. Okay. So it's kind of nice. An so if you get have. evicted, you may get restarted pretty quickly once the space gets available. Exactly. Oh, very yes. cool. And so we also have an interesting offering. It's a great user experience. Yeah, My it's goodness. super easy. Wow. Yeah. And so you can even see here too on the overview of your VMs, you can see the priorities low. You can also come down to see your actual uh, instances. So you can see like I'm already up to instance 19, 19, so I've been evicted Things a lot. Things have been going, uh -oh. Yep, and so here we're actually, we can actually come down to the properties and you can actually see here's my eviction state is at delete, my eviction policy. I see, so that's why the numbers are going up because every time you, okay, okay. And I've got auto scale on. And you've so, got auto scale and your auto scale is set to four, that's why, but you're still running four though. Exactly, Okay. Yep. okay. Uh, the other really cool offering that we have is that you can potentially hook up two scale sets under one standard load balancer. Yes. And so you can have one regular scale set and one low priority scale set. So you could imagine something like a web farm where you can cool. have like two VMs no matter what, that's on your regular scale set, but then you can always try to scale up your low priority if you need yes. to. And so that way you will always have VMs, but you can actually save on cost by right. scaling up the low pri whenever you need you to. You make sure that your minimum line is met by standard VMs, which will never go away. Exactly. But then you can basically take your burst up and sometimes you may end up not being able to handle all the burst yes. but you'll always hit that minimum line exactly. how cool is that so and so then you so basically you can put these together and do we have like templates that help people kind of yep. put the oh. so we've already got templates available and you can set auto schooling auto scaling rules on both so you can try to scale up your low priority first if you can't do that it will go fall back to your regular scale set so it's actually really nice so you can actually see on the standard load balancer you can see the NAT rules um, so it's actually really kind of cool 
That is really cool. Yes. So you can see I've got all of my skill sets here. And you have to here. use a standard load balancer for this. Yes. yes. So this is the standard load balancer, the new SKU. Okay, got it. Because yep. it spans across multiple VMSSs. Exactly. Yes. Oh, got it. Yep. Okay. So we've already got. Sometimes I do know things, exactly. despite what you say, Rick. Go on, Megan. Sorry. <laughs> nope. So we've already got pricing updated, so you can easily see what's my low priority price versus the pay as you go price. So and you this can actually is a see fixed that discount. Price. So people, so now people don't have to guess, yeah. right? Uh, they don't have to bid. That's it's very cool. It's up to an eighty percent discount just based on the on demand. And uh, this is super cheap then. So if you <laughs> if you can cheap. take advantage of this, you could really run for very very little amount from compared to what you used to have to run. For. Exactly. Wow. So, and this is available on VM scale sets today as well as batch. Okay. So and so this is preview it's today. Preview today. Okay, okay. Yes, and G eight on batch. Okay. And so we've got documentation up and running. So People definitely check it out. should go to town, give us feedback. Yes. And do we have and I know I'm not supposed to ask this, the timeline for GA we don't know yet, we're still getting feedback. We're still getting feedback, okay. yeah. So we'll okay. I tried to soon. I tried to sneak it out of her guys. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Okay. Well, very cool. So, yeah. wow. So that's really, really cool. So great user experience. Yes. You can go and you can get this set up with standard load balancer, which we just also shipped, exactly. right? You can now bring this together between a sort of a standard and a low priority. I'm sorry, uh, was it standard priority? Regular. No, regular priority. Thank yep. you. It's sort of like soda, soda sizes, regular soda. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, and uh, I'm looking for the jumbo size, but um, <laughs> uh, that's M series. And so you can put these together and you can basically take advantage of this without necessarily putting at risk your site. How very exactly. cool is that? And so coming soon too, we're also going to have notifications. And so whenever your VMs are actually evicted, we'll give you a 30 second heads up it's through our scheduled events offering. So yes. it's going to be in VM notifications. So that way you can do whatever cleanup jobs, anything you want. So that's right. actually coming very soon. Through the uh, through IMDS, through the in, in, in VM uh, notification yes. system, of which we have a show coming at some point. <laughs> We've recorded one. It went sideways, so we'll have to uh -oh. re-record it. Anyway, it's fine. It's not your fault. Um, uh, I won't say whose fault it is. Awesome. Thank you, Megan. Yeah, sure thing. This is very cool. Thank you for joining me on the show, and I hope to have you back for more VMSS fun in the future. That sounds great. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. And thank you so much. If you have any questions for us, hit us up at hashtag Azure TWC. That's Tuesdays with Corey. You can ask questions of me or Megan or Rick or really anyone. So uh, we'll do our best to answer. So. Hit us back and have a great Tuesday. Thanks, man. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. It's really just on an iPhone. Literally, this is it is. All we did. <laughs> this is real, real high grade. Oh wow, she is quite surprised by the garbage show that we put together, yeah, Rick. Yeah, the production value looks really good. That's not what I heard, Rick. Okay, this is running, that's running. Is that running nope, over there? Not Record? yet, not yet. Wait, wait. Uh, is that it? Yeah, we get the microphone's running, camera's off, full screen. Yeah, you're good. Did, did record? No, hit the record button. All right, guys. Three. We can start whenever we start. You have a lot of hard drive space. Yes, she's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs>